Hey guys, I'm Bryce Mefford. I'm a Tokyo 2021 Olympian, and I'm gonna teach you how to improve your backstroke. Let's go. The 100 win with a win in the 200 backstroke in trial. 154 and two tenths seconds. The second fastest performer in the world this year. So today we have a very special guest joining us, my teammate and close friend, Bryce Mefford. Oh, did I mention that he's also an Olympian? Yes, Bryce is a 200 backstroker like myself, except Bryce made the Olympic A final at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. This guy knows what he's talking about. So today's video, I'm going to be breaking down with Bryce what his three best tips are for backstrokers and his three favorite drills are to kind of get warmed up for backstroke. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and let's go, baby, let's go. So the first thing I wanted you guys to hear about from Bryce was what are your three favorite drills to kind of get warmed up and what really helps you with your backstroke? What are some things that you focus on? Yeah, my three favorite drills on becoming a better backstroker. Uh, as I said earlier, I definitely like um, in touching my chin to my, or my shoulders to my chin. And you can do that through single arm backstroke. So when you do single arm backstroke, you make sure you kind of like over rotate just to kind of get that core involved, get just the stroke down and kind of just really figure out where your body should be and the head position should be straight. Um, and then that kind of also goes into the next drill that I really like, which is two, two, two. Um, Dave Gerdin, our head coach, really likes this drill as well. And that's uh, just two arm right strokes, then two left strokes. And then after that, it's just two to like normal strokes to kind of put it all together. And that just allows you to isolate each arm individually, getting a feel for each side and kind of really focusing on that side and focusing on how your body's feeling through that and then putting it all together in those two last strokes. Finally, I think my third favorite drill is double arm backstroke. As I said earlier, a lot of people have a problem putting their hands too close over their head in backstroke. They just over rotate into this area and it's just not beneficial to the stroke. So double arm backstroke, I like to think about entering my hands a little bit wider and then also squeezing my back muscles together to almost try to pinch my back together and then bringing it down. This almost allows you to, to not go too far forward just because, I mean, at least for me, I have a hard time almost touching my hands over my head like this. So if you can really just use that as an advantage, the tightness of your muscles to kind of keep your arms wider and enter a little bit wider, that's I think extremely beneficial to the entry point of your stroke. We're gonna start off with single arm. It's gonna go right arm. We're gonna focus on keeping the head back and rotating with the shoulder going up. Uh, also, just keep in mind the entry of your hand. Ready? This is gonna be two, two, two. So I'm gonna go two on my right side, two on my left side, two together. Just kind of isolate each side and then focus on them together. Here we go. All right, this is double arm backstroke. This is what we're gonna focus on the entry point of your hands while also keeping your head back. All right, here we go. All right, so we heard from Bryce on what his favorite drills were. Now, Bryce, what are your three best tips for how to get better at backstroke? My three best tips for swimming a better backstroke uh, definitely have to be the entry of the hand, uh, where you're entering that hand in the water needs to be a little bit wider. A lot of people end up putting their hand crossing their head in line, and that's very, uh, it's not very efficient when you're pulling on the water because then you have this space up here where you're not able to grip. So if you enter wider and then are able to pull immediately, I think that's a lot more beneficial to the backstroke stroke. Um, I also think your rotation from your core is extremely important. I always love, uh, you hear about drills later, but touching my chin to my, my, my shoulder to my chin on drills is always a good way to kind of exaggerate that rotation. Uh, and I think finally, um, 
that your your exit and your follow through of your stroke is very important to backstroke. So when you're pulling down through that water, keeping that elbow high, and pulling down, and then pushing water down behind you towards your feet is extremely important through that rotation. It's all about connecting everything that I just said. Entering wider, pulling, pushing, and then pushing it down past your, your hip, down to your feet. So Bryce, you're an Olympian. What was it like when you finally made the Olympic team? Talk to me about those emotions going through Olympic trials. Yeah, I mean, making the Olympic team was a surreal moment in my uh, swimming career. Uh, coming in at trials and, and not really knowing if I was gonna continue swimming or not after trials, to making the Olympic team was pretty incredible. Going into trials, competing at trials, and then uh, in the tuner back coming into the wall, second behind Murphy, um, was a pretty surreal experience. Um, I mean, I I remember watching the scoreboard as I was swimming into the, the wall and looking up and seeing myself second behind Murph and then just a little bit ahead of the third place guy and just kind of knowing like it's secured, like I can hold this off, I can, I can really do this and make the Olympic team. Now, we all really wanna know, what was like the coolest part of being on the Olympic team? Talk me through it. Yeah, my favorite moment from the Olympic Games. That's a hard one. Uh, there were so many different moments that were just so, so incredible and so much fun. Uh, I definitely loved the just spending time with the team, spending time with the team and the coaches, coaches that we maybe haven't been able to spend time with, uh, coaches on different teams uh, that have now come together to be a part of one team, the, the USA Olympic team. Uh, it's pretty cool to be able to experience that where you go from separate teams where you're all competing against each other to all competing with each other against other people. Um, so I definitely think my, my favorite experience was, was probably stepping on the deck uh, at the Olympic Games for the first night of racing. Uh, maybe, maybe the first night of final racing. Um, we stepped on the deck as, as USA and everyone's kind of looking at us, everyone's got their eyes on us. and. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's definitely a new experience that I've never had where everyone's staring at you as you're walking around on the deck. Um, and so we, we got up into the stands to cheer for our, the foreigner medley with Chase and uh, Jay Litherland. And it was pretty incredible to watch those guys go one, two in the race, this foreigner and I am, because it was just like, wow, USA is there, USA is here, USA is representing. Uh, USA is doing an incredible job. They got a gold medal and a silver medal the first night, and that was, I think, my favorite experience from the, the Olympics. Thanks, Bryce, for those great tips. If you guys like this type of video, make sure to hit the like button, and we can keep doing these. I have a bunch of other teammates that are very skilled in their own respective strokes, so make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, as always. And with that, that's going to do it for this video. Go Bears! Thanks for tuning in. Go Bears! I'm not the I'm not the YouTuber here, obviously. <laughs>